Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about slow wave structures. So, what do you mean by slow wave structure and what are the advantages of slow wave structures? Several types of structures are there. I will show what are the different types of slow wave structures available. The main purpose of the slow wave is to make the signal which propagates in the tube needs to be slowed down. That means its velocity is going to be reduced. Okay. So, slow wave structures, slow wave structures are special circuits which are special circuits which are used in used in microwave tubes to reduce the velocity of wave in a certain direction so that the electron beam and the single wave can interact and the single wave can interact. So, slow wave structures are special circuits which are uh, used in microwave tubes to reduce the velocity of the wave in certain direction. So, the direction may be, uh, may be forward direction or it may be in backward direction that depends upon the type of the wave that uh, is going to be transmitted in the propagated in the tube. Okay. So, the phase velocity of The phase velocity of a wave in ordinary waveguide is greater than the velocity of light in vacuum the phase velocity of the wave in ordinary waveguide phase velocity of the wave in ordinary waveguide is greater than the velocity of the light in vacuum so that means in normal uh, uh, waveguides if the wave is propagating the phase velocity of such wave is very high compared to the velocity of the light that is in vacuum so since the electron beam since since the electron beam since the electron beam can be accelerated can be accelerated only to velocities that are about <laughs> that are about a fraction of the velocity of light the fraction of the velocity of light so if you see the the electrons which are traveling in this traveling wave wave tube and they are having higher velocities that are about a fraction of velocity of light in vacuum velocity of light in vacuum so thus the electron beam must keep in step with the microwave signal and slow wave structure must be incorporated in the microwave device 
see normally the electron beam which is uh, originated from the electron gun that uh, travels with a high velocity okay we have seen already an electron gun is there that electron gun is used to produce the beam of electrons that are traveling with higher velocity like your the light which travels in the vacuum okay that means there is no obstacle in the vacuum to stop the signal to signal flow so that means it travels with very high velocity uh, likewise the electron beam also travels with high velocity in the glass tube uh, like your uh, twt now what we are doing we are inserting an rf signal we have already studied this uh, rf uh, what is this uh, operation constructional details of this cluster uh, of this uh, twt in the previous video so now the rf input which enters into this uh, traveling wave tube and goes out from this rf this is the rf output from this tube that has to be slowed down it has to be slow down that means the electrons which are traveling like this must travel along with the wave that propagates inside the traveling wave tube hope you understand see here the what we are doing we are inserting some rf signal that has to be amplified which propagates inside the wave gate now how many things are traveling inside one is the electron another one is the wave okay these two must be interacted together these two must be interacted together so that each component of this electron each component of this wave must travel along with this rf signal each component of this uh, uh, what is this wave must travel along with the electrons that are coming out from this electron gun okay so what we need to do we need to make the electrons which are traveling must be slowed down that means the velocity must be bring to down must be brought to down okay so in order to bring that velocity to down what we are doing we are using some helical shape that helical shape here which needs to be used because of this helical shape the wave and the electrons which are traveling here must might be slowed down okay because of this slowed down the velocities are going to be changed and the operation of the um, what is this traveling wave tube is going to be explained that means the rf input which enters into this uh, cavity is so those are uh, which enters into this uh, twt needs to be amplified uh, because of this electron beam batch that are generated so what happens uh, because of this that means the signal has to take multiple paths the signal has to take multiple paths to reach the other end suppose if you take a normal wire normal wire when the rf signal passes through this one along with the electron gun it reaches the other end very easily because it, it no need to travel that much of long distance but when we are taking this uh, helical shape what we need to do is that the signal has to go in this forward direction again coming back again like this like this like this it reaches the other end at a slower rate okay so in order to improve that what we are doing we are uh, uh, making the signal to be slowed down by taking the slow wave structures okay several type of several types of slow wave structures are generally available so uh, here these are the different types of five different types of slow wave structures available and the most commonly used one is the helical line most commonly used one which we have already used in the twt structure was the helical line so because of this the signal will be taking multiple rotations and it reaches the signal other end very slowly coming to the second one folded back line okay it is also similar to that helical line but the wave just normally folded in the forward direction so it goes up and down so that the signal will be slowed down okay our ultimate aim is to reduce the velocity of the wave which has to be recombined with the electrons that are traveling on it okay so and third one is the zigzag line normally how we are having a different patterns other than the straight line it is nothing but the zigzag line so that signal will be going like this like this like this and like this 
and reaches the other end. Okay, so because of this multiple paths and taking the different directions, it, take, it takes very low velocity. That means the signal will be coming down. And another type of uh, uh, this slow wave structure was inter-digital inter inter line. So inter-digital line, we are taking a, uh, some obstacles, it goes like this, like this, like this, the signal will reach the other end. Similar type of structure we have taken here, corrupted waveguide, where different types of meta um, obstacles are, we can say something like uh, um, carbon, met we can say dielectric material that has to be inserted here, so that the signal will be taking place like this only. Okay, so that because of this number of uh, problems or obstacles, so what happens, the signal will be slowing down its velocity. This is what the scenario or the basic principle how the slow wave structures are going to be operated and the significance of the slow wave in the traveling wave tube. Okay, thank you.